Very intriguing ideas, Josh. We need to wrap up. Briefly, any final thoughts? I think what we really need is, if we want to address these environmental problems, too often people talk about you know, the catastrophes that will happen, the climate change and the loss of our food supplies and you know, the horrible scenarios if we don't act. And actually, I think what we really need to put forward is the vision of a very positive future, a very desirable uh, lifestyle. If we stop, you know, if we uh, stop driving our cars so much and spend more, more time closer to home with family and friends, not shopping all the time, but meeting with people, interacting, working less, consuming less, having more time for friends, more time for nature, uh, less hectic, less stressed, lower consumption lifestyle, you know, a, a greener, more sustainable future is not a sacrifice. It's a better lifestyle. And just to give a final example, in 1969 in the United States, per capita consumption was half of what it is today. And yet people generally said they were happier and more satisfied with life as a whole than they are today. So we could achieve that 1969 standard of living working half as much as we do now, having twice as much time to do all the things in life that really matter. Very intriguing ideas. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for sharing these thoughts. Sure. A pleasure.